Hey guys, Minecraft Mafia here again. Um, I have a quick tutorial video today, um, and it's a couple efficient ways to mine or harvest wheat. Uh, so I got a couple suggestions on this because I mean, even though it seems like a pretty simple task, there are a lot of different um, ways that you can uh, harvest it without wasting your time. So I just have a couple of different ways to show you right now. So um. The first thing is, one of the tips I have is water, okay, so if you, a lot of people know that water will make your, um, your farms, uh, grow a little bit faster, and uh, as you can see, there's some darker spots and lighter spots, um, so the darker spots are the ones that are actually in range of the water, and these are dark spots too, I don't know why they're not loading, but, um, so essentially these, um, tilled blocks will, uh, grow a lot faster, then ones like this, ones that are far out of, from where it's at, it can go four blocks, it can, uh, I guess, fertilize four blocks out. So, anywhere the um, water or will be able to be harvested faster. But as you can see, these, I already tilled, but they're five blocks out, so automatically they will just go back into regular dirt blocks. So, uh, a lot of people uh, wouldn't know that. Um, I'm... You might, but some people don't, so this is, that portion of the video is just for them, but, um, it's so basically what you can do is, you can take out those blocks and, you know, place down more water, that way when I till these, again, the, the tillness, or, will not go back into the, uh, into a regular dirt block, so that's, um, a useful thing that some people didn't know, so as you can see, it's starting to finally get watered over there, um, and another way to efficiently uh, mine wheat is uh, basically a lot of times, uh, I, I mean, when I started playing Minecraft, I was like this, but people all see just slowly place down the seeds like this, you know, kind of wasting the time, but they don't see a faster way to do it. And that way is to hold down and then hold down W and then you hold down your right mouse button, okay? So, and then you just walk forward and look down and hold down your right mouse button, and it will basically just keep on placing down seeds whenever there is an open spot. So then you can make uh, your farm replant a lot faster if you do it the way I'm showing you. So, as you can see, this is a lot more efficient way to plant it rather than, you know, just slowly planting one by one. Or, also another way I see people doing is just planting randomly and leaving open gaps and... You know, that doesn't really help either. It seems like it's turning night, so I'm going to see if I can remember this command. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was just turning it to daytime, so you can see um, when I'm doing a little bit more vividly. So, yeah. Um, so, let's let's grab some bone meal really fast. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember where, um, where the bone meal is, so I can grow this um, super fast here. Let's just... Let's just grab some bones and then go inside my survival inventory. Oh, I don't have a crafting area. Bummer. Alright. Jeez, where the hell is bone meal? It should be under here. So I checked. I'm probably just zooming right past it. Oh, yep, I was. Sorry, guys. Alright. <laughs> After a minor technical difficulty because I'm retarded, um, and I finally have bone meal. So, um, a way that you can replenish your farm really fast, uh, is using bone meal, and the way you can do that is you can put a bone inside a crafting table or inside your little 2x2 two two crafting area, and it'll give you three of these things, but I'm in creative, so I have unlimited. So basically, just like I just, um, planted the seeds again, you can look down, go in a straight line, and hold down your right mouse button and hold down W, and it'll make your wheat grow a lot faster. So, there's no way to bone meal a, a wheat twice. So, like, let's say I have 29 bone meal, and I bone meal at once, okay, so then I have 28. I cannot bone meal again, so don't worry about wasting your bone meal. So then you can just, you know, keep on doing that. And that's, that's another efficient way to regrow um, your wheat. Uh, if you don't have enough seeds, this can also be very useful. Here, let me just go outside my fence really fast. It can be very useful to grow um, tall grass, um, or wheatgrass, some people like to call it, and basically, wheatgrass is what gives off seeds. So, if I take out some of these right now, 
I should get a C. Is eventually. And I'm sure you guys probably already know that, but this is kind of for people that aren't as good or are a little bit new, new to Minecraft. So, I don't know why I'm not getting a C right now, but trust me, you will. So, <laughs> Even though they, they didn't give me a seed for some reason, it, it gives you a seed about um, one in every seven times that you mine a wheat grass. But I, I might be in creative, so it might not be working for me. But, um, yeah, so basically, uh, a very efficient way to actually harvest wheat itself. I mean, I told you how to replant it, I told you how to regenerate it. Uh, basically, just like I've been showing you in these last techniques, you hold down W, but instead of holding down your right, mouse button you hold down your left so what you can do is then is you can walk forward in a straight line like I said and just hold down your left mouse button so it grabs it. and this goes a lot faster in survival mode because basically in creative mode it, it almost skips the block because it's kind of hard to explain but when I'm inside here let me actually I can change my game mode to survival mode really fast so let me see if I remember forward slash game mode let me just type in my name and then zero did that work oh right forward slash game mode zero do you do first now i'm in survival mode right so instead of having it go really slow like that did um so let's just pretend really fast since i was an idiot and went out of creative mode and forgot to replant all these blocks into regular wheat let's pretend these um sprouting seeds are all um are all tall weed just for the purpose of the video now when i'm harvesting it when i when i do that same thing it goes a lot faster because basically what happens is let's say i mine um i harvest this wheat right and as i'm holding down this button it's continuously going like that right and i walk in a straight line so right after i harvest it then i am basically um hitting that block as I keep on going. So rather than in creative mode, when I hit a block once, it completely deletes the block. So um, in creative mode, you can't really, I don't know why you want to harvest wheat because you're in creative mode, but in survival mode, it works a lot better than in creative. Um, so all these techniques are basically for survival mode. Let me change back to my game mode really fast, guys. Uh, there we go. All right, so, and um, one of the last ways uh, that I found is uh, I, I actually discovered it um, pretty recently, is you can use half slabs, you can use any kind of half slab you want, you can use cobblestone, but I'm just going to use a smooth stone half slab really fast, and um, basically, when I'm, let's say I have wheat all around this water, right, and I'm doing that straight line thing, okay, so I want to get, let's say I'm harvesting this line of wheat right here, so you know I'm harvesting it, or I'm planting it, or whatever, and then I go, and then I fall inside the water, and that kind of slows down the process that I'm in, every now and then, if you jump, as you can see, it turns that into it, so when you're getting out of the water and you jump out, you turn that into, every now and I'll turn that into a regular dirt block. So, the way to prevent that is, you can place down, here, let me turn off this music, it's kind of annoying me, I don't know about you guys, but, so basically what you can do is you can put down stone slabs over the, um, water source, so when you're, um, going when you're um, harvesting or, you know, planting or whatever in a straight line that, you know, you're harvesting and then you can just go right above it and then keep on harvesting like that. Um, so that is pretty much it. Um, but a, a quick little thing that uh, might be useful to you. It's not necessarily a, a really good way to um, efficiently harvest wheat um, or farm wheat. But you can have, like, a little bit of a farm chest like I have, like, maybe right inside your farm on top of your fence or maybe just outside of it. Um, and you can have, you know, all of your seeds in it and all of your, um, all of your, your like, your hoe or whatever and all of your wheat. So I'll just, you know, I can put all my stuff inside of it like that. Anything that's farm related. And also, um, if you're just, let's say you're on a multiplayer server, um, and it's... I, I guess a SMP, or if you're on a PvP or raid server, if you have a close f friend or something that's already been on that server for a while, and has a lot of seeds, um, because basically when I mine one meat, one wheat, excuse me, it will give me 
essentially two seeds, but it's not going to give me anything right now because I'm in creative mode. That's why those wheat grass didn't give me anything, but that, that can, it gives me like one wheat and two seeds, like I said before. Um, so basically, er, he gets two times more seeds every time he mines it. So let's say he has a farm that's 64 blocks, um, then he'll get two racks of seeds and one rack of wheat. So maybe, maybe if he doesn't need those seeds to... Um, to replant like I don't know about you guys, but if you've been on you know a single player or a, you know a map where you've just been farming a lot and you realize you have tons of seeds, you can have your friend you know when you're starting off with a farm you can have your friend give you a rack or two of seeds because um, a lot of times or most of the time they will not need that much extra. Um, that is pretty much it for this video, guys. I really hope it helped. I mean, I'm trying to uh, really get as many suggestions as I can out of the way and make them into videos for all of you guys. Um, so please rate, comment, and subscribe if this video was helpful to you. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. I will try to get to them as fast as I possibly can. Uh, this is Minecraft Mafia, signing off.